Red 2 standing by, all four lives and in the green. Welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. We've made it to Hyrule. We're too late to save Zelda, but we have the Triforce of Courage and we are ready to storm the entrance to Ganon's Tower. Let's get going. We're reaching the finale. Looks like this place is pretty nasty. Fair few people have tried and never made it. Yep, that architecture tells us this is Ganon's Tower, alright. And there's a lava room. So, there are different pathways. And a gigantic statue. So, if we head through here... This... That's a seal of some sort. But if we go this way... We have the four bosses. We will need to defeat them in order to proceed. Into the lava he goes. Alright, first one. This should be Dragon Roost Island. So do we have any enemies to deal with? No we do not by the looks of it. We have a lot of water jugs. So we might need to throw a few of those. Press the wrong button again. Because I can't just sort of freely grapple to different platforms like Samus Aran can. All right, where's the bubble? Hmm. So it should be a simple enough puzzle. Hmm. So, perhaps... There's always an unorthodox solution. Whoa! Too far! Okay. So... The unorthodox salute. Oh wait, there are bubbles up there. Right. So, I'm just sort of wondering how I do this, because I know there are lots of water jumps. Alright, I stuck that landing. Okay, I didn't realise I could do that. That would happen. Swing back a bit. And up there. And we should be good to go now. Still not going to make it. Still got to climb up a bit more. Do I have enough rope with which to... No, I do not. Definitely do not have enough rope. Oh, that's really annoying. I'm used to pressing B to get out of in-head mode, and I keep forgetting it makes me swing my sword. Which is a pain in the... which is a real pain in the butt. 
Now, if I do what I did before, I should be able to pull this off. Or not! Good heavens! Just stick the landing! I thought I had it. Pull back. And drop safely. Now I've got it. Now we should be able to do this. Okay, I'm on flames again. There we go. That's got it. Now, if we climb up to the top of this... I should, in theory... I'm not sure what the actual solution is. There we go. That took care... That took care of that. That was a little longer than I wanted it to be. But, uh, health. Thank you. Probably could do with a bit of magic. Because that was a slightly stupid plan. But we made it, so... Now we have to do the first boss fight again. With only the equipment we had to take on the boss. And creepier music. Oh, wait, did... That's neat, I can escape. Oh! Despawned it. Mind you, we're much stronger. Excuse me. I'm still. Ah! Right, that should get it. That's. It moved out of the way so many times. Well, I landed safely at least. Alright, that's one hit. Pity I didn't get to land back on the... Pity I didn't get to land on one of the higher platforms. Right, we'll wait for it to do something. Alright, it did something. Breathe fire if you like. And now we're good to go. Alright, so yeah, this is pretty simple and you shouldn't really have a lot of trouble in theory. But it can be slightly annoying. Thing, this is it's mostly an annoyance more than anything else. Alright, so ceiling's coming back. Wait for the tail. And throw! That's more like it. That's how we do it. Stuck the landing and now we can take care of Goma with our much stronger sword. Ah, Michelle's busted at least. This might be the place we get the photos of the bosses, I'm not sure. Got to admit, the music is really cool. And there we go, that dispatches it very quickly. We do have a much stronger sword, which is really, really nice. So, first seal. Broken. Very nice. Can we... We can get health. But do we get... I nearly ran into the lava, which would probably be a bit typical for me. 
So much for the King of Red Lion saying we were the great hero and all that. We're still a doofus, we're still the village idiot. Even after all this time. Now, these hurt me, right? No, surprisingly enough. And they've stripped me of all my items again. Now, if I get my aim right... How the... Did that just whistle over its head or something? The, I, that is probably the most spec... Most spectacular miss I've had. That, I can't believe that happened. That must have just whistled over its head. That Bokoblin, if that Bokoblin had hair on its head, it felt those singe. Wait. Shoot! So, yeah, remember how I said I was still the... Oh! Yeah, remember how I said I was still the village idiot? I'm still the village idiot. Can't believe that. <laughs> We're off to a great start. Ganon, you would you were doing the right thing. You No wonder Ganon doesn't take me seriously. Okay, that one was definitely too short. Is it going to come at me? Nope, but we can burn it. Alright. I just wanted to do that for the sake of doing it. Hey, left behind a joy pendant. Alright, now we're into the appropriate area. And what's the strategy here? There's simple, simple puzzles. Alright, so this is wind. Alright, so we're back to the deco leaf. We've got wind, we've got tentacles. That really doesn't sound like the most encouraging scenario. Alright. Get the wind going. Drop. Where do I go from here? Oh, that was a good shot for once. Might have to wait a little bit. This is much simpler than the grappling hook puzzle. Granted, I probably made the grappling hook puzzle look a little more awkward than it should have been. If there was something I was supposed to do, I don't know and I just thought I'd cheese it. We're allowed to to have a bit of ingenuity once in a while. Bring it across. Bring it back, bring it back, drop down, drop down, drop down. Yep. Alright, avoid the tentacles and we're alright. I may nearly made a bit of a hash of that. Oh, you little bastard! You little bastard!
Don't scare me like that, Linko. Right, now I think I've got enough magic. Wheel away. Go to the far side. We already burned one of the little bastards. I need magic. That's not magic. Right, where are you? Burn in hell, you little piece of- Right, now we can go and take on the boss. That took way longer than it should have. They're just too far away for the boomerang to hit. And... Yeah. Alright, so watch out for the tentacles. Last time I did the shortcut. This time I'm going to have to rely on my blade. Oh, I have to go all the other way around. And it can get and can reattach its tentacles. Unfortunately, it usually winds up eating you. Ow, I got spat into the... It usually winds up eating you if you actually try and attack it a lot. Which is a right royal pain in the butt. I think the bosses are actually more aggressive to compensate for the fact that uh, we're much, much more kitted out. It certainly looks like it. And the lousy pea hats aren't helping either. There's going to be one tendril that connects. Alright, maybe... Maybe two. Alright. Yeah, it's definitely more aggressive than the last time. And it reattaches those tendrils very quickly. Now I have to run all the way around. Surely not! Now this is just getting insulting. It's got to be doing this just to annoy me. The oh, come off it! There was one on the far side! You can see why people recommend bringing... It's got all of them back up. And the boomerang... The boomerang's range is much shorter than I... F seems to be much shorter in this. And I've rolled into the wall. So it spat me into the roof. All its tendrils are back up. It's way more aggressive than I remember it being. Lousy jump attack. This thing's... It's not even hard. It's just... I think it's actually just tedious. That's... that's what's happening. It's just... There we go. That was just tedious. At least I can restock, but man, that... That could not have been more annoying. Like... Unfortunately, you, you wind up going to that last section in such a way that if you go directly, the pea hats just punt you into the abyss. And they're too far away for the boomerang to get at, to get at and you have to lead your shots pretty well with the bow. Now, I could have just used regular arrows, but it was the principle of the damn thing they had to burn in hell. 
They had to burn. They had to be set on fire and punished with the best attacks I had. At least we're going to get something really good out of this. I'll keep pressing on. Alright, so a straight gauntlet. This shouldn't be too hard. Mind you, I said that about the f about the forest barrier, and... And we got readeds. I can at least just chuck bombs at them from a distance. Is there going to be a gauntlet of readeds? Well, that's nothing. Magic, magic refill. Nothing. It's a, that's a bubble just sitting there. Nice. Is that a redhead? That's a fairy. I saw something move and. Man, I'm really I'm really doing badly today if I'm mistaking a fairy for a zombie. That's a zombie. This has not gone well. We've proven our courage, but we've also proven our stupidity. All right, so there's that. Bombs. Wait to see if there's another zombie. I am... I was slightly suspicious of all that unbidden kindness. What am I going to run into? We can't really just run the gauntlet. It's just a lengthy haul. It seems. Oh, we're going to need some shadow chews. Magic. This isn't really a... There's what I'm looking for. They're a pose. So I'll have to wait for that. I need to keep one of the... Right, we'll deal with that one. Redeads. Are there... One more concern... How does it keep targeting things behind me? There are shadow... There are lots of shadow shoes. But there are lots of pose as well, and I'm more concerned about whether there are going to be redeads. Where's the ghost? Please target the ghost. Thank you. Right, so we'll leave those guys a stone for a while. So there's another fairy. Alright, get them close to us. And then we can make a break for it. They don't move very quickly, do they? Well, I suppose they're gelatinous blobs. Draw them in. Nice. Please pick it up. Pick up and pick up the chew, and then we can drop it. Onto the switch. Run. Well, we did it. All 
All right, so this is just sort of the same, but more tedious. All right. So it's just Shadow Choose. I'm still convinced... Still convinced there are Raydeads involved. There are no Raydeads involved, so if we put this... Run! Oh, that's Dirty Paul! That's Dirty Paul! If they hadn't have brought up the bloody cutscene and said, Oh, suddenly, Stalfos, I'd have made that. That is Dirty Paul. I'm not happy about that in the slightest. Is there... Is everything in this going to be just annoying? Right, so now we can get back there and do that again. I'm actually legitimately angry about that. that that's a blue shell moment. That is a 100% blue shell moment. Like, you think you've got victory, it should be right there for you, but no, the game decides to screw you over. That's dishonest. Like, this isn't even hard, it's just... it's tedious. This is going to be easier, though. Because... It does stop us after we take out a certain number of pose, it seems. Either that or Jalhalla is getting smarter. A lot of people also think that the boss fights music for this in version of Jalhalla is much better because it sounds fittingly creepier. So yeah, just simple application of the great spin attack. I do think they make these bosses a bit more challenging. How did I pick up the skull? On earth did I manage to wind up stopping picking up stopping to pick up the skull? And where's the light? Oh yeah, this is the point where Oh yeah, this is the point where the battle becomes teeth. Hopefully this is doesn't just become a complete pain in the backside. All right, I'm dizzy. What? Hang on, I killed it. I I distinctly heard this. There is only one left, and I distinctly heard the sound of a Poe dying. I'll bet you there's only one left, and it's the one I killed right at the last. There were... Th yep. Yep, I killed it just as the cutscene started.
and it didn't count. That's... Oh, that's all been so annoying. I'm actually genuinely annoyed about that. I mean, this kind of is just... In a sense, it's a rehash of... I um, wonder what happens if you hit these guys with the hooks. Doesn't reach. Oh, well, that still stunned him. This kind of is, in a way, a rehash of Ocarina of Time. We're essentially doing different barriers based on the dungeons we've faced. It's a pretty cool concept. They're simple enough. It's just they manage to be annoying more than anything else. Alright, where are you? That ought to do. Very nice. The sound of a whiz robe dying is music to my ears at the moment. So, if we sweep... That's not going to work. Is there a switch I have to hit? No, I think I just have to go straight through and trust in the Deco Leaf. Or split the gap, one of the two. Oh wait, they're all dead, that's good. I probably need the hook shot, don't I? Link was looking at sun. Wait, that's it! Okay, now I'm annoyed because that's so simple! At least we get to fight Mulgara again. That was actually kind of lame. And the music is still cool. Okay, they're definitely getting more annoying. Focusing on the mini Moldons is a bad idea because you'll get eaten. Mini Mulgaras. Right, where's the big one? Where's me?
I lost myself in the sand for a moment. Rightio, there it is. Yeah, so the full power Master Sword isn't appreciably stronger. It isn't appreciably stronger than the second stage. That actually kind of sucks. That's something really weird I've noticed that... Whoa. I was not happy. That was not happy with me. But yeah, this... So yeah, it's... Definitely worth noting that the second stage Master Sword is not appreciably stronger than the... Yeah, your full power Master Sword is not appreciably stronger than the Master Sword on its own. It actually kind of sucks. Because I've got the Master Sword fully powered and yet it does nothing. And sudden jump scare of Ganon's face. What's behind the green door? Well, we're going to find out in the next one. Thank you very much for joining me, despite all my complaining. Till next time, this is Red 2, returning to base.